Hi YouTube, this video is um, my black and white photography. Um, I'm going to do another video of my best photography, um, which is all my, um, my better colour photographs. But these are all my best black and white ones. Um, and there might be a bit of crossover because some of my best uh, colour ones uh, look good in black and white as well. So I've, I have done a few where I've uh, put them in both categories. Um, this is basically just a slideshow so you can have a look through them and I thought I'd put it up for inspiration for other artists because uh, I do a lot of paintings. I, um, I trained as a natural history illustrator uh, but I love all kinds of like landscapes and that kind of thing um, and I try and take photos wherever I can because I just never know when I might need some inspiration for uh, a painting. Um, so there's all kinds of stuff in this lot um, obviously lots of landscapes um, but there's some kind of quite strange things as well sometimes I just photograph like textures um, sometimes I photograph plants and things like that um, but I really love just anything in nature that looks a, a little bit unusual and a bit strange uh, so I've taken quite a lot of close-up photos as well under a microscope of things like fossils and minerals and that kind of thing um, and whenever I'm out and about walking, I sort of look on the floor and see what I can find, uh, whether that be, you know, fossils, minerals, uh, seed pods, uh, anything basically that looks a bit interesting. I'll collect it and take it home, like animal skulls and that kind of thing. Um, so there's quite a lot of photos in here that were taken uh, in the winter. I, I think quite often, you know, if you get a deep layer of snow you can go out and take some really stunning photos so some of the better ones in here were taken in the winter um, and then there's all kinds of yeah there's sort of industrial landscapes and close-ups of seed pods and fossils all kinds of things and hopefully there might be something in there that might inspire some of you to do a painting of your own I shoot most of these photographs using my Canon EOS 5D, uh, which has been a brilliant camera. Um, and then I'll use Photoshop just to turn it into a black and white image. Um, so, you know, I'll often adjust the contrast a little bit um, and the light levels and things, but I tend not to do much else other than that. There are a few photos in here that I have Photoshopped a little bit more. Um, like right at the end, there's a picture of me. Um, with like a skeleton, I, I photographed a skeleton and then there's basically stages between my body and the skeleton if you see what I mean. So check that out right at the end of this video. And there are two or three other images that you'll probably see in here that I have photoshopped a little bit more as well. It's just if I want to combine a couple of images together or that kind of thing, it's, it's obviously really useful. Um, so yeah, after university I went on and taught adult education classes which is mainly me painting using watercolour or acrylics um, but I also teach Photoshop now as well. I was really lucky that after um, I went to university I did a tiny bit of training at the Daily Telegraph um, and I was lucky enough to work opposite Matt the cartoonist only for like about eight weeks but it was really good and it taught me like the basics of Photoshop and Illustrator. And like I say now, I, I teach Photoshop, which I think has um, taught me how to use my camera better. And it's also taught me a lot about just principles like brightness and contrast and um, light levels and all this kind of thing. And, you know, choosing like the subject matter with like the best kind of um, light direction and all this kind of thing that makes for a, a much better photograph. Before digital photography, um, and before I got my Canon, um, I used to shoot using, I think it was an Olympus OM2, uh, which is the same camera my dad had as well. And my dad was always a really keen photographer, and he taught me loads, obviously. And when I, I spent a year in Australia in 2000, and um, when I went and I was taking my camera, my dad suggested that I get a whole load of polarizing filters. Um, and that made such a difference, you know, just being able to um, turn this little filter around on the end of my camera 
just to change the way the light looked completely in my images um, and so that really helped but obviously when you're shooting using a camera that takes film you've got to be a bit more careful you you can you know get through a film of 36 uh, photos really quickly so you you do have to think more carefully what you're doing and plus it costs a lot of money to get them all um, developed into photographs so we're very lucky now the sort of the immediacy of photography but also um, the fact we can take hundreds and hundreds of photos and then go back afterwards and choose the one that's best it makes it so much easier um, I suppose the only thing with that is just how long it can take to sort through them <laughs> afterwards it can take quite a long time anyway if you've enjoyed this video um, please check out my other videos and uh, hit subscribe to see anything similar and to see any of my artwork or anything in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.